Now let's go through the process of closing the period and the year. Now after backing up your data and performing all your daily routine processes including all transaction validations and interface processing and reconciliations, you're ready to run the pre-close verification report. Now this report confirms all necessary validations, postings, and conversions in the general ledger and sub-modules are performed, like payments not posted or interface that hasn't been run, which are required to close the period and the year. To do this, we go to the reports module, to the prints group, and to financials and financial accounting function. And we run the pre-closing verification. Here we enter the company, the year, and then we print to process. Loading our report, we see all the periods, and there's nothing in the periods that needs to be processed. And it shows no problem here down below. Our next step is to close the periods. To close the periods, we go to Common Data, we go to our GL Accounting Tables, and to the Periods function. We have selected a company and we show the fiscal year and you can see the periods are open 1 through 12. You can also see the stock status. Now the stock status, if we doing processing or closing out the year, you may want to change it to balance adjustment or close in order for no transactions to be processed during the time that you're processing or trying to close out the period and close out the year. Our next step is to go ahead and close our periods. To do that, in the right panel, we select Closing. And then we select the periods we want to close. By default, the first period is already selected. After selecting our periods, we click OK to process. And you can see you're prompted that it's closing out the fiscal year. After processing, we see our log and each individual period, as you can see, it's finished, saying it's closed all the way down to period 12. And now you're ready to close the year. To close the year, we go back to financials. We go to our Closing Processings block and then we select Fiscal Year In. At Fiscal Year In, we enter the company. And as you can see, we tab through it show the new fiscal year is 2015, which is correct. You can also see that you can enter in several companies, so you can close multiple companies at the same time. Below, you can see that you can generate a log. If you decide, you can actually check the simulation. If you decide not to close the year, but you want to run financial reports, you can do so. But we would like to go ahead and close out the year. So we click OK. Upon closing year, you can see the document because we check a checkbox in setup that says, I want to see the financial transactions showing in the log file. So we can see the financial transactions that have been generated for year end and also the journal entry that actually will show in the journal entry for year end close. We can also verify that it is closed by going to common data. Going back to our GL tables, we can see, check the periods, and we can see the periods are closed for that fiscal year. We can also see, go to the Physical Years function, and see the same for 2014. And finally, we can also go back to Financials. If we decide there's a transaction that we need to enter in a prior year, we can not only reopen the year, but we can also reopen the period using the utilities and the closing submenu 
and these functions. And now you know how to close out a fiscal year, including all the features and the benefits that you have available to you.